What is focal length? Focal length, usually represented in millimeters, is a basic description of a photographic lens. The measurement is not the length of the lens itself, but actually a calculation of the optical distance from where all light rays converge inside the lens to the image sensor of the camera. So a lens with a focal length of 24 millimeters, for example, would have light rays coverage 24 millimeters above the image sensor. The focal length number tells us the angle of view, how much of the scene will be captured, and the magnification, how large a subject will appear. The lower the number, the wider the field of view and lower the magnification, increasing the amount of the scene that our camera can see. The larger the number, the narrower the field of view, and greater the magnification, decreasing the amount of the scene our camera can see. It's also worth noting that oftentimes photographers will refer to larger focal lengths as longer and smaller focal lengths as shorter. While the lens you attach to your camera comes with a focal length, depending on the type of camera you attach to it, its focal length can actually vary. Back in the days of film, 35mm film was the standard sensor size of all types of photography. Once film cameras left the scene, Digital cameras replace them with many different sized sensors, the majority of them smaller. 50 mm lenses regarded as a standard focal length for film became a short telephoto on the new smaller sensor cameras. This is due to something called crop factor. Full frame cameras do not have any crop factor since they operate on a standard 35 mm format used in the days of film. APS-C sensors, however, have a crop factor of 1.5 for Nikon or 1.6 for Canon. What this means is any lens attached to an APS-C camera will need to have its focal length multiplied by either 1.5 or 1.6 to get its effective focal length. The actual focal length of the lens remains unchanged, but switching camera bodies that have different sensor sizes will change what the picture will look like. For example, if I have a 50mm lens on a full-frame camera, its effective focal length will be 50mm. But if I swap it to a crop sensor camera with a crop factor of 1.5, the effective focal length suddenly becomes 75mm. There are other camera form factors as well, but full-frame APS-C cameras are most common. When considering a lens, there are a number of categories defined by ranges of focal lengths. The widest lenses are the fisheye or ultra-wide lenses. These lenses have focal ranges from 8 mm to 24 mm. They are limited in use and typically used for landscape or architecture. They create such a wide angle of view that images can sometimes appear distorted, and they are not suitable for all portraits since they make facial features look distorted. Next comes regular wide-angle lenses with focal lengths typically between 24 mm to 35 mm. This is where distortion stops appearing unnatural. Standard lenses with focal lengths between 35 mm to 70 mm produce images that most closely reproduce what our eyes see. They are great walk-around lenses and very popular. Telephoto lenses typically start around 70 mm and end around 300 mm. Portrait lenses fall in this range. And as you increase focal length, telephoto compression will cause foreground and background objects to appear close together. Extreme telephoto lenses round out the bunch with focal lengths exceeding 300 mm. These lenses are used for wildlife and situations where extreme magnification is required. Within these categories lie prime and zoom lenses. Prime lenses are lenses that have a fixed focal length. They are often simpler lenses, making them easier to manufacture and in return cost less and usually are of higher quality than zoom lenses. Zoom lenses, on the other hand, cover a range of focal lengths and because of their versatility, allow you to carry, say, one lens instead of two or three to cover the same focal range. The only drawbacks are the increased cost and slightly reduced quality from manufacturing something so complex. Focal length is a simple concept, but an important one. By the end of this video, you will have learned the principles of focal length and the various categories of lenses that together will help you make an informed decision on which lenses to purchase and how focal length will affect your picture. Subscribe to Apple Apps for more animations every month, and as always, 
Thank you for watching.